very softly sweet. Yeah, it's actually really nice on the nose, isn't it? I wasn't expecting that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Craft Whiskey Boys. Jay, and at a distance over here is Saul. That's me. Since 93. <laughs> what year were you born? 88, baby. Uh, I was gonna say 83, that would have rhymed. So we are doing a two minute review of the Macallan 12 year old Double Oaked. Double Oaked. Excited to try it? Not really. No? <laughs> <laughs> You're not excited to try it? I mean, Macallan are one of the best marketing distilleries in the world. Um, but you definitely want the Macallan to be in the 20s or 30s to, for the complexities. And we'll talk a little bit about that. Should we talk a bit about Macallan? Well, my experience with Macallan is not massive. I think I've only had two of their releases and I have to say I was, I was disappointed with both. So that obviously gives me the feeling that they're very good at marketing. However, I think some of their older stuff, Jay will probably say, as he has more experience, some of their older stuff is uh, a lot better. Yeah, so I'll tell you a little bit about it. So Macallan, obviously, uh, Craigalachie, I believe, is a little town right beside Arbolor. Um, you know, they've been around for a long time, but have they been really making great whiskey for a long time? The answer is no. Um, right up until the 1980s, a lot of Macallan's malt actually was sold off as a blending malt. Uh, it was just a cheaper malt. And then what they did is they got really clever from a marketing perspective in the 1980s and started heavily marketing it as a single malt. And, because, and the reason why is because the blending market at the time had taken a dip and they weren't able to sell that whiskey out as a blend to all the other people as a cheaper multi blend in with, uh, with all the cheaper whiskies on the shelf. So they had to come up with something different and they came up with this single malt idea really hard and, and marketed and they did a great job. What I do know about Macallan is it does need to be a lot older and here's why. They have smaller stills, like I think 3,900 liter stills. Um, so you don't get a lot of copper to spirit ratio. So it's a heavy spirit. And what that means is, is that that heavy spirit takes a lot longer to mature than a cleaner, better spirit. So there is a, a lot to be done in the distillation side of it. To That's why I say age statements are bullshit. Not all whiskies are made the same and that they're all great at 12 or 15. Oh, it's a 15 year old, must be great. What the fuck are you talking about? No. There's so much that goes into it. Macallan in particular, they use 500 liter sherry butts. So they've got this really heavy spirit, 500 liter sherry butts. So it's gonna take way into the late teens, early 20s for it to become palatable in my opinion. So I think 12 is too young, but I haven't tried it. Yeah, some good, uh, good info there from Jay, stuff that I hadn't heard before. But one thing I can tell you is that this, uh, the Macallan is a Speyside distillery and it's a little known fact. So you whiskey buffs, you probably know this, but Speyside is technically a sub-region of the Highlands. So on the bottle it says Highland Whiskey. In actual fact, it's a space, Speyside distillery, right? Yep, absolutely. Speyside is kind of the, the condensed-wise, there's more distilleries there than pretty much anywhere on the planet. Half of the malt distilleries in Scotland are in Speyside. So if you're looking to go to Scotland and go on a kind of a, a whiskey tour or go uh, distillery to distillery on bikes or whatever, go to Speyside because most of them are all there. Or potentially Isla, but there's only like Eight or nine, nine in Isla, but nine in Isla. So, but well, you got like sixty or seventy, or if not more, up in uh, up in space. I just, there's a ton of them. You ready to start a two minute review? So, guys, two minutes, no cuts, no edits. You guys know the score. Alper, bring that in and make it official. Let's go. First whiskey of the day. First smell. Mmm. It's really pleasant on the nose. Very softly sweet. Yeah, it's actually really nice on the nose, isn't it? I wasn't expecting that. It's like, a, there's a little bit of vanilla there. There's a lot of vanilla. It's a, it's a sweet, subtle vanilla, but it's, it's there. There's a bit of, it's like a butterscotchy. It's like, it's like butterscotch, isn't it? It's very, very, yeah. It's got a lot of that. Scottish butterscotch. butterscotch. Coffee. Let's try it. It's a nice, it's a very subtle smell. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Knowing that they're using 500 liter sherry butts, knowing where the distillery is, knowing the stills are smaller. Um, I actually prefer it over the triple oak. I can't have had this one before. I thought I'd had You've this one before. You've never had this one, I don't think. I haven't I've had definitely it. had one of their lower range 12s, but it can't have been this one, because I actually quite like this one. Yeah, I've got, I mean, first whiskey of the day and all, which can normally be a bit harsher, and it's, it's not a bad drinking whiskey. The mouthfeel actually matches the smell. It's really yeah, nice, it does. smooth, Yeah, it's a nice, soft, smooth, soft, yeah. oily right across the tongue. Yeah. Yeah, it's there's a bit of, there's a tiny bit of like, um, I don't know if it's lemon zest or that's coming across, but it's, it's, it is predominantly dealing with, you know, you're dealing more with the oak um, and more with the vanilla, but it's not heavy oak at all. Yeah, the vanilla's still there in the palate as well. It's got some what of my What ABV favorite. is it? It doesn't need any water. I think water. it's 46, but um, it's got some of those, my favorite spices. 
Yeah, it has, yeah, you can get those like- You know I like those Christmas spices, Yeah, right? it's like stewed plums or like like raisins, but it's like, but but you also get bits of um, nutmeg and cloves. It's actually 40%. It's 40, I was gonna say, it's a bit too smooth to be 46. I quite like that, it's nice. Better than expected. It's not, the, the finish is short to medium, I'd say. Nothing massive on no, the No, the finish is a bit weak. But it's still, uh, it's pleasant, very pleasant. Quite a pleasant whiskey, actually. Very, very drinkable. Very yeah. drinkable. Yeah, that's a single malt, just double check. I'm sure it is, single it's malt. not a blend, because it's, it's coming across Single that way. malt, double oat. I believe this is like the level up from their entry. You've right. got the gold, what's it, the gold is their entry, and then right. this is a, a level up from that. Okay. 40% double cask, single malt. Okay, so where I'm at on this one is it's more pleasant than I thought it would be. It's not a world record-breaking whiskey, but it's nice and smooth, it's easy to drink. I'm at 7.8. <laughs> wow. I actually wasn't expecting much from this McAllen. The McAllens I've had before, which is quite limited, haven't impressed me. In fact, I was disappointed because of the expectation you put on them. However, this one was actually quite nice, to be fair, and I would definitely drink it again. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that. I would rate it at 7.2. Fair score. I'm a bit high on it just because I was I was really expecting this to be in the fives because it's a young expression of Macallan. They've done such a great job of marketing. I was nearly going in with the wrong mind. Not, not that I was ever going to score anything lower than it deserves to be scored. I wanted to wait till I let the whiskey speak for itself. So I've probably gone slightly higher than I normally would because I was expecting it to be so bad, but it isn't. So that averages out 7.5, guys. What? Not a bad score for the Macallan. 7.5. Guys, uh, please just stick in the comments below any other whiskies that you want us to review. Uh, we've got this cool uh, board coming in soon, which is like we can now start showing all the whiskey scores as they come in, and you can kind of see as we're rating them and they're, they're popped on. A bit like Top Gear, but... Not at all like Top Gear. Yeah, it's our own original idea, and you'll yeah. see. That's why Sally looks like Hamster. And I actually don't look like Jeremy Clarkson, <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> I thought I was more of a James May, but yeah, all right. All right, oh, actually, you would be more like a James, James May. James May's Please. parents live in Totnes, Bridgetown, technically. That doesn't mean that because you live near them that you fucking look like them. Full disclosure, not my first whiskey of the day. It is mine. <laughs> I want another one now. <laughs> Alper, you're gonna be the one that passes this whiskey between us, my friend. You should have gloves on. Doesn't matter. You're on 100 grand a year to fucking do a clapper. You can take you're one more on task on. You're on 100 grand a year? No, I'm not a fuck, No, he doesn't get paid. 100 grand a year? Let's get a new team, mate. You're a great guy. I love you, mate, but no. 